Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 1M90 and this is Amit. So in this video, I will be explaining you how do we access multiple databases from a single CodeIgniter application. So without wasting much time, let's start igniting the code with CodeIgniter. So before we get into coding stuff, let us understand what's the primary application of using multiple databases. I mean, why do we need this feature or you know why do we need to access multiple databases from a single code igniter application so let us understand a bit about it so sharing one db across multiple applications especially in an application which has a multi-tenant support has some serious implications in its behavioral for performance and maintenance the primary reason for the need of using multiple databases is the performance bottlenecks Secondly, I would say development and maintenance costs increases. Last but not least, administering the databases becomes harder, especially when the client or user base increases. I categorize these three issues as a serious matter of concern. So I suggest in such scenarios, nowadays space is cheap. So I would advise to use one database per client or user, especially when you are building something for a multi-tenant environment. So now let's get into coding stuff. So I, I mean, basically I have just downloaded the CodeIgniter application. So if you see here, so this is the CodeIgniter application that I downloaded. I renamed it to CI MultiDB. So it's a typical uh, 3.x CodeIgniter version. If you can see, I have not made any changes. So let's open this up in a sublime text. This is sublime text. I have opened up the CI multi DBO project over here. So now let us go to database.php. So in this database.php, if you scroll down, you will be seeing this database array here, the default one. So what you need to do is just copy the whole default database uh, array and then paste it below. You just need to change the index. So this is a default one. You can rename this also to DB1 or you know say this to DB2. But for instance, I have left this as default itself. And this is DB2. So after that, you will need to specify the databases. Like this is a database DB1. And for this, I have chosen the database as DB2. So now let us go to MySQL workbench. So what I have done is I have created two databases as you saw in the database.php db1 and db2. So inside each of the database I have created one table each in each of the database which is users underscore db1 and db1 database and in db2 database I have created users underscore db2. So db1 and db2 prefix are just used to differentiate between them. So that you know will not be confused with a sim with a you say if I if I would have you know use the same user stable in DB one and same user stable in DB two also, so I I think it would be a bit of confusion. So I just use it for convenience. So what I have done is, so if you can see, I have added four columns here, basically user ID, email, display name, and password. So similarly, what I have done is, so I have added the entries, say, you know, DB1 over here. Let me just see what's this. So let me just change this to DB1. So that the records coming from this particular DB, you know, they, su they, say, they suggest that they are from DB1. Let's cross verify this. So this is db2 db2 yeah so now what we'll do let's get back to sublime yeah so this is how you configure the database.php so you just copy paste this you know uh, add the uh, username password and the database name right so now let us go to the welcome controller so I have added uh, this is a sample application as you can see here so I have added the uh, model related code in controller itself so this is not the best practice i'm telling you so you will need to add these queries and all in the model 
so just to explain it you know conceptually I have added these queries in the controller itself so if you can see I have created two variables db1 and db2 where in db1 I have loaded the database default and in db2 I have loaded the database db2 so this is how you select so by default the default will be selected so now if you can see this particular query so it's you are using the variable db1 and then you are selecting the columns and then you are getting the users from db1 so this is how you access db1 records so after this you are storing whatever you get whatever the resultant of this particular uh, select statement you are storing them uh, in db1 user info and now what you do in order to access the db2 records so you're doing it in a similar way so you're loading the db2 database and then via that particular variable you are selecting the email and display name and then you're getting users from db2 so which is the table name is users underscore db2 so now what I am doing is I am creating a array and in that array I am um, you know defining the indexes you know a corresponding index for db1 data and for db2 data and then this loads a welcome message page so I have modified this controller a bit uh, based on my needs for you know for the demonstration purposes so I have added all these things extra because earlier only uh, it was just loading a simple view so when I downloaded this so now let us go to welcome message.php so what I have done is I have removed the additional uh, message whatever there or whatever was there when I downloaded so now what I am doing is so data from db1 is I am printing it here I am copying and data from db2 I am printing it over here so now what we can do is let us switch to browser so if you can see let me refresh it yeah so if you can see so this is a database I mean this is a sorry this is a data from database 1 and this is a data from database 2 so if you can see this is Amit DB1 and this is Amit DB2 let's do one thing let us add one more record just for confirmation so I'll say test at test.com Test user and test pwd. So I have applied it, I'll close it. So this is for particular database db1. So let us go and verify it. So in this case, we will be uh, getting. Okay, got it. So this is displaying only one record. So what we can do is we need to modify the query. So but I guess you know this is sufficient for you guys to understand because I need to loop in. So I, I'll not get into that. So if you want, what I can do is just for demonstration purposes. So for now it is displaying the only the first record. So what I can do is I can update this. I'll say updated and I'll say apply. Let me close it. So if I refresh it, what's wrong? Did that get updated? Yes, it did. No. Oh, I forgot to uh, you know, apply this particular update. That's the reason. So let me refresh it now. So you can see here so I just updated the DB2 display name so for database 2 you can see it so it's now saying Amit DB2 updated so this is how you uh, you know access multiple database in code igniter so I guess this is helpful. I mean, it's a it's a simple uh, you know kind of a blueprint 
I mean, it's a starting step towards your um, your application for using multiple databases. So this is how you connect the uh, multiple data databases in a Code Igniter application. So I'm not going to share this particular code with you in a GitHub repo as I do for uh, any of my other uh, you know applications or any of my other demos. But in case if you need it, I I would. I would be glad to share it across a uh, github repo I can create it so let me know in the comment section below if you need access to this particular project because I, I see it's it's fairly simple there is nothing uh, you know nothing very much complicated so I would suggest rather you trying out and you can anyways contact me if you guys face any problem so uh, stay tuned for my other videos thanks a lot for watching good day bye bye